Hexagon MMA welterweight champion of the world. Here are some of his stats that really just kind of sting, strengthen the notion that these guys are two sides of the same coin. Of course, Aymar Gui with more fights, more losses as well, double digit losses, but those losses have come to some of the best in the game. Gentlemen, respect your race all the time. Why is the size of him? Step back, touch gloves, show us the best. All right, vacant welterweight title bout here between England's Walter Gahadza in the blue corner and Ivory Coast slash France's Aymar Barakuda Gui in the red. Straight away, the sniper with a kill shot. Yeah, that high kick seemed to catch Gui off guard a little bit. Here's a takedown attempt. Oh, but look at that. Gahadza almost falls right, almost fell right into mount there for a moment. Yeah. Lucky for Guy, he ma managed to retain half guard instead. And now it is all Walter Gahadza putting it on. I'm Guy. And he's showing veteran savvy here. He's not rushing, he's not smothering his work, he's taking his time. As my jiu-jitsu coach, Mr. Johnny Burroughs, would always say, position before submission. Your submission game should be like death metal, slow and heavy. Put the pressure on. That is a great way of putting it there, Mr. Campbell. And here comes some of the ground and pound from the Brit. About, look at that, Ogi getting back to, to full guard now. Open guard. Trying to grapevine those legs out, but again, a veteran like Walter is going, he's been in these positions countless times. He's not being shown anything here that he has not seen before. Yeah, definitely, both these guys are really so experienced. Walter needs to make a decision if he's all the way in or all the way out here. You can see that guard creeping up of Imar. Yeah, I mean, he's got to mind his P's and Q's. After all, Aymar Gui called the Barracuda. Barracudas are for ferocious ambush predators. They will strike from out of nowhere. That is just where one of these submission attempts might come from. All right, Diva Ambra, calm yourself. We're watching fights. <laughs> Again, it's methodical work being done here by Walter Gahadza. You know, right now, he doesn't need to do anything out of the ordinary. This, as it is a championship fight, is scheduled for five five minute rounds, therefore economy of energy is key. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to burn yourself out in the early round and then end up regretting it in the third or fourth. Nice up kicks there from Guy, but not enough to keep his opponent at bay completely. And championship fights in MMA sometimes have the, the same kind of approach. Oh, potential for an armbar there from Guy. Nice head control there from Gahadza. Really using that head like a third arm. As I was saying, these fights almost have the, the same approach as a Muay Thai fight. A Muay Thai fight, usually the pace increases as you progress. Sometimes in championship fights, that's what we see. Yeah, absolutely, that's a great point, Phil. Right in front of us now in our broadcast position, it is all Walter Gahadza right now. Yeah, a, a very great, strong opening, because obviously he, he kicked things off with, literally with that literally high kick. kick. He didn't even mean that. <laughs> that was outstanding work. <laughs> you see, the puns come naturally from me. What a professional, Sebastian Martinez. Okay, you have to admire the calm being displayed here by Walter Gahata. Just disdainfully throws the legs to the side, now landing in side control, progresses position. So that is a great turn of events there for Gahadza. Much better position in they were to be able to score some ground and pound, maybe even a submission attempt. You can see he's trying to angle Guy away from the cage to open up the mount himself, but nice wall walk there from Guy. Gahadza oh. brings him right back in. Playing part of a faster worker, flips him right back where he was before. Gahatsa's got to be mindful because while he is a well-rounded fighter, 86% of his losses have come by way of submission. And wow, look at that! He manages with the reversal to the thunderous applause of the crowds here in Poitiers. Rounding some big shots. He does have six wins by submission, is taking the back. Essentially, any choke by Barracuda is a key choke. Oh, he's under the chin! Sebastian, what the work? Oh, oh, it's the top! Oh, it's all over! Ivar Guy has done it! He is the first ever double champ in Hexagon MMA history! First!
first round finish snatches victory from the jaws of defeat. What a change in fortune! Partisan crowd here at Hexagon MMA live in Poitiers, losing it, essentially going potty. This is unbelievable work. Oh my goodness, you can never count out a veteran like the Barracuda. En 4 minutes 14 secondes dans le premier round. Le vainqueur est nouveau. Ouais.